This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Happy Friday to you traders, Andrea Scalise here with your market wrap on the James Dix Financial Network. Well, any hopes of a rally were curtailed today by the upcoming weekend and today's mild read on inflation. However, the Dow did close at another record high of 12,445, the NASDAQ at 2,457, the S&P at 1,427. In the news today, the Labor Department reported that consumer prices were unchanged last month, even better than the small 0.2% an analysts had been expecting. Industrial production in the U.S. unexpected expectedly rose in November, reflecting a jump in auto manufacturing that may not be sustained. U.S. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson said that China has pledged greater exchange rate flexibility, but gave no timetable as the two sides wrapped up high-level talks aimed at strengthening shaky relations. CBS Corporation has launched a new recorded music label reviving the name of a long-defunct CBS Records, through which the company plans to release music and promote artists on its network's stable of television shows. Apple Computer said it has delayed filing its annual report with the Securities and Exchange Commission due to an ongoing investigation into stock options grants. Mm -mm -mm. And Dell said today it will delay its quarterly report with regulators because of investigations into accounting practices. Shame on you guys. Scheduled economic reports for next week include housing starts, building permits, producer price index, gross domestic product, leading indicators, Philly Fed survey, durable goods, personal consumer spending, and consumer sentiment. We've got some earnings coming out next week from stores such as Walgreens, companies like Oracle, CarMax, Sharper Image, Morgan Stanley, Christopher & Banks, Bed Bath Beyond, Nike, Learning Tree, Paychex, American Greetings, Con Agri Foods, Research in Motion, Red Hat, Rite Aid, and Shuffle Master. And keep an eye on shares of Bear Stearns, E-Trade, Financial, Adobe, ITT Corporation, and Star Gas Partners. That'll do it for Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.